What happened? So a little update. It's uh, 7 a.m. and I was about to uh, go upstairs and edit the video that I made yesterday in my car. And I woke up to this. Um, so there you go. It looks like YouTube has cracked down on all those videos. I did not know this though, but you apparently you can't put uh, uh, ads from third parties in your in your videos. I did not know that. So I got an, I got an email from YouTube saying that. So I lost um, about five hundred thousand views on my channel. Four hundred? No, no, not that many. But but um, there you go. <laughs> so. I uh, wouldn't say it's karma, but, um, um, well, there you go. Anyway, if you're interested in um, the details, I guess, or what, I get, no, you know, the rest of this video doesn't really explain details, but uh, long story short, I was contacted by another company, a, a company to um, put, uh, what do I look on this camera, where's the keyhole here? <laughs> I was contacted by another company to, to uh, put a 30 second or so ad in my video and um, yeah uh, YouTube has decided to ban all those videos so I did that you know and they, they, they paid money up front um, and I made as a result it kind of forced me to make videos that would get views for sure and I had to figure out what those were and I and I did and uh, those videos did well but now those videos are all gone which is a shame because some of those are pretty good videos. Um, I guess I'll have to try to re-upload them just for just for historic purposes. Damn, because um, they take a lot of time, especially the, those haircut videos take a, a lot of time in my editor. So wow, um, damn. Thanks for I, watching, like, everyone. Like I don't Talk have you guys shit to do. And let me know what you think about anyway, this. Couldn't right? they just Am I just rationalize it? Do you take it down? Yeah. Or? Give me shit. Whatever. It's okay. Like, let, could I just? I, I would have. I would have cut off the front of those videos because it was only the first thirty seconds. You know. Oh well. We're gonna do live and learn. Anyway, here's the rest of the laundry video. <laughs> All right. See you guys soon. Selling out. Selling out. Selling out. Take two. Okay. It's Victor. Uh, give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. The king of the morons. The original. Mo the original. J vlogger. I came here three hundred years ago during the black ships. Is this 300, 400, 300, 300? Anyway, 1642, I forget. 1685, I don't remember. Okay, so I live in Japan, been here a long time. Uh, for those of you who are new, this is a laundry video, which means it's a long ass train of thought video, which eventually will hopefully enlighten, uh, if not you, then me. Uh, I, I have noticed that by making these videos, it helps me, uh, it helps me develop my thoughts better, or, you know, understand things better a little bit. Uh, often when I call, if I have something I'm debating, I'll call a friend and talk to them a little bit. And just the act of talking to someone uh, will help me, you know, flesh out that idea and you know, and and make a decision, make a make a make a more uh, thoughtful decision, a better maybe not better, but <laughs> at least I tried. Uh, uh, it is a golden week, which is a a. Special hall, it's not actually a week, but in, in Japan, in the first week of May, we have something called Golden Week, and it happens to have two days, uh, there are two or three days off there, and coupled with the weekend, it, it makes almost a complete week. So a lot of people take the whole week off, and it's called Golden Week. Sometimes they have Silver Week, by the way, in September, but it's very rare for those uh, particular holidays to align uh, perfectly to give you the perfect Silver Week. It happens only once in a while. I remember a few weeks ago it happened. I think my brother was pretty excited about it. He's here too. He's very, he has a very successful chain of English schools. I, however, do not have a very successful chain. I have a very elite uh, English school. It's, um, I have one school. We teach Spanish and English and Japanese. In case anyone's interested in Japanese lessons, we do Skype lessons as well. Uh, Yukari Sensei, who runs Maggie Sensei, is on, on that. Uh, I do, I do too, actually. I teach uh, elementary. But, um, uh, oh, by the way, I should shout out uh, Patrick. Patrick, um, yeah, who, who asked for when's the next laundry video come out? Um, but this video is basically about selling out. I guess you can guess that by the title. Did I sell? Did I said the first. I think those were the first words of the video. But keep on track. Keep on track. That's one thing about the laundry videos is they're long and they're meandering and train of thought and stream of consciousness. And I gotta, I gotta stay on the point. Stay on the point. So. 
So a few uh, months ago, a couple months ago, I was contacted by a um, company, uh, which, you know what, I'm not going to name, I'm not, you can guess if you've been watching my videos in, uh, that, one, that, that company's name, and they sell a particular service that is morally ambiguous, or we could just say, argue and just say, we could, <laughs> we could just say, uh, let's meet in the middle and say it's just morally unethical. It's unethical, right? And you know, I just realized um, some people don't like me just uh, showing my face the whole time. So I think you've seen enough of my face. So let's turn the camera around and continue. Okay, we are back. Uh, let's see, where was I? I am morally ambiguous or morally unethical. Uh, company contacted me. And uh, it was really weird. They said, oh, we thought you were someone else. <laughs> they thought, they confused me with another YouTuber who I guess was a, a bit bigger and, and their initial uh, offer was to pay me quite a bit of money for a certain amount of videos and I was like, what? And of course, I did not, um, you know, you get mail sometimes with offers and sometimes they come through and sometimes they don't. Usually they don't. Or it's to do something that I just, not, I'm not interested, like promoting some kind of app or, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, uh, they said, oh, I'm sorry, well, we thought you were someone else, but for your channel, we can offer you this amount of money, this certain amount of money uh, for, for four videos, if you just mention our product in the first 30 seconds. And I did not exactly understand what the product was, uh, but I thought, I said, yeah, that sounds good, can you tell me more? And, and, and before I knew it, they had just deposited quite a large amount of money uh well you know i'm not mentioning the company's name so it was uh just under a thousand dollars uh into my uh, paypal okay and um and i didn't know what the company was yet and they but but the the, the shocking thing was they had already deposited the money into my paypal which was like really weird and i thought that's like great and weird because nobody pays up front like that uh, so I thought, okay, um, hmm. and uh, I looked into the company and realized what it was, which is a service to, you know, to have, uh, you can hire someone to write essays for you. I'm assuming their target is college students, but, uh, you know, after, after a little bit more research, it looks like it could be high school students. And, you know, of course I was like, oh, this is not anything I would recommend to my kids to do. I wouldn't want my kids doing this. But, um, the, but they deposited the money, right? And, and the other thing was, they, I, I, got a, I got a bill that same week for just a little bit less of that amount. And it was a, it was a tax. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember what the tax was for. Man, one thing about Japan is, God damn it, every time I make some money, I get hit with some, some tax or something. Uh, the, the best thing, the, the most recent good news about that is I got hit with the tax just two days ago or yesterday or something. And it was for this car that I'm driving now, but because it's a hybrid, it's a uh, Honda Freed, it's a hybrid. Um, instead of paying 35,000 or whatever, what the usually uh, car tax is, it's 20,000. So the government gives you a little subsidy for getting an economically, uh, I don't know, what, what's it called? Uh, an environmentally friendly car? I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know what the tax, how they decide that crap, but I, I'm, that's what Yoko said. That's what my wife said. So, so that was good. She was surprised. Uh, her parents drive a non-hybrid car and they paid 35000 So, anyway. So, that's what happened. Okay? I got, I got the money in my hand, basically, for all practical purposes, and I suddenly owed a thousand bucks that I wasn't uh, counting on owing. Now, of course, the way things work in Japan is they're very uh, friendly when it comes to helping you pay up, pay something. So, you know, I, I mean, I could have, I could have come up with the money. I mean, it's not like that's the only money I have. <laughs> but it was like very convenient. Like I wouldn't have to. It's almost like it did. Uh, it's almost like I didn't do anything. Right. All I had to do is like throw this mention of this uh, site into my videos. 
four videos. Of course, there were there are other stipulations. Like it had to, they, you had to reach a certain number of views. And uh, and I did it. Um, now, as a result, I I was foreseeing a lot of backlash. Like I can't believe you are promoting this company. You know, um, because so, you know I, I understand. I mean. I understand that but at the same time what I was seeing was a bunch of other youtubers making this kind of video and there being no backlash at all and I thought well I guess nobody cares you know and it is a thousand you know a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks so it's not a thousand but by the way a thousand bucks is not the, the exact number of the actual number it's just a just a big number just imagine that as a big number it's a big number for a certain certain amount of money that I that I uh, I could have come up with but <laughs> You know, they, they just happen to coincide. I got a bill and I got this offer in the same week. So that's what happened and I ended up doing it. And um, about two days ago, I woke up to like five emails saying that BBC had blown the story over this, uh, over this uh, company and saying, oh my God, you know, and a lot, a lot of, a lot of other YouTubers were advertising this company in a very different way. They were saying things like, you know, if, you, if you're tired of doing homework, instead of doing your homework, you know, uh, you could be doing drugs and playing video games. So you should just pay this company to do your homework, basically. Which I never, I never had that <laughs> mentality. Um, I will tell you this, though. My father uh, is in the medical field, right? I thought I mentioned him before. Works with corpses mainly, <laughs> and he's he's written for a certain um, industrial magazines, right, concerning uh, his profession. And uh, he, when I was a, when I was in high school, he had me proofread his work, right, and fix it up a little bit. Because although his English is excellent, he does have a problem with spelling sometimes, and there's little things that you know, as a non-native speaker, that escape him. Because you know he immigrated to America, just like me. You know I was not born in America either, but I had the luxury of uh, growing up there and getting an American education. Uh, uh, the, the downside, of course, is my, is my Spanish is bueno, no es tan no es tan malo que no entiendo nada, pero todavía pero no puedo escribir muy bien y, y no entiendo to, todas las cosas. Pero me, me hago entender y me puedo defender. So I just said, you know, it's not terrible. I can still understand everything and speak everything, but you know, it's not perfect. And I, have, I definitely can't write um, grammatically correctly, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm sure my spelling is horrible. But anyway, the point is, uh, well, you know, I mean, here we get into some real bullshit rationalizations, okay, which I've mentioned before, okay, which is basically that, uh, that all the professionals that you see out there that when you read their published works you are not getting their raw published works in fact the only thing i think that goes out there that is un that is unedited or unpublished art well laundry videos like mine <laughs> which are completely unedited and unedited uh well except for you know splicing them together but basically i don't really cut myself on the cut myself uh edit i don't edit these videos and uh, tweets, right? Tweets, and I guess that's it. Everything else is pretty much edited, right? I mean, Instagram is edited. Most of, most of those pictures are edited, and that's not even a... I mean, that is an expression of, of yourself, but not in the same way. It's not the written word. So when it comes to the written word, when you read a magazine article, a newspaper article, a book, um, a journal article, anything, uh, anything at all, you know, um, those are all heavily edited. There, there are editors for that, so... Uh, we can argue that you you don't really get anything that's that's not touched up by somebody else. So it's it's difficult to argue that uh, that you're that that all these people all these great writers are are uh, would be actually be that great without an editor. You know who knows? Who knows? Maybe back. I wonder back in the days. Like I wonder if people like um, Charles Dickens did he have an editor? Did Shakespeare had an editor? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But you know. You still bounce things off ideas and be, uh, <clears throat> bounce your ideas off things, off people, and, and you get to change, you know, you get improvements and changes and things like that. But um, and then when you when you look at like people like um, the, the president, uh, does he write his own speeches? <laughs> Not even Obama wrote his own speech. 
Nobody writes their own speeches. And when you look at SNL or any any comedy show, the Seth Seth Meyers or or Stephen Colbert or uh, or The Daily Show, I hear that they have hundreds of writers on those shows. So when you the finished product that you're getting is a result of many other people's input and work, and you're almost never getting the original writer's uh, work there. Right? So. So can we argue that uh, it's completely okay to pay someone else to do your work? Of course not, because although, what's the guy's name? Uh, Trevor Noah, for example, right now, or Stephen Colbert, or any of those people, even or, or any, anyone, we can go on and on, um, you, you get the idea. Uh, even though they have teams of writers behind them, they are also capable of doing that work. They can do it, right? They're just getting, you know, they, they put in the time, they put in the work. Uh, so I do think it's very important for young people to do their own work and learn how to write coherently, which is something I can do. I mean, I was in publishing before I came to Japan. I was an English uh, lit major. Uh, I, I know how to write. You know, I can do it. Um, but I will tell you a story. There was a kid in my university uh, who was, whose English was very, very good, but he had the pressure of going to medical school. And he, you know, he, he had to take these, um, what do they call those, mandatory uh, prerequisites to go on to the next classes and all that. And the first year students, everyone had to take your basic English classes, right? And you had to take certain electives, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And um, when he was taking those classes, he, you know, he told me, he said, uh, well, I, you know, he, he, he said, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I've got to concentrate on my science courses and my other classes that have not have more to do with my you know, future medical career than these, these bullshit English classes. And he ended up uh, paying someone to write, his, uh, to write his essays for his English classes, and he ended up getting A's in those classes. Uh, the ironic thing was the guy that wrote those uh, essays for him did not get A's. <laughs> he got like B pluses. Um, now, I will tell you something that was interesting about this guy. This guy had really, the way, the way they, they did it was the guy would write, would tell, he would basically tell the guy what he wanted to write about. The other guy would take notes and then go off and write it and come back and give him the paper. And I guess um, he, uh, his stories were so compelling that it gave the ghostwriter really good material. And he was able to come up with some really uh, interesting papers, I, I guess, you know, I guess. I guess that's the way they, they did it. Uh, anyway, um, that that person who paid for those papers went on to become a great, great and respected brain surgeon. Uh, yeah. This story has been edited to protect the, the innocent. Okay. Uh, anyway, so, you know, it's... it's it, it, but at the same time, that guy got to... This is all happened at New York University, by the way. Uh, I went to New York University. So this all happened there, and he got there, which is not, it's not, you know, it's not Harvard, but it's, it's a pretty damn good university, right? I mean, a lot of people always, oh, you went to New York University. Well, it's not, you know, it's not, to be, to be honest, I wanted to go to Columbia. <laughs> I didn't get into Columbia. So I ended up going to New York. I wanted, I wanted New York. I wanted New York City. I got another other company, uh, universities are actually technically better, but I wanted New York City. That's, 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 uh, cares. <laughs> That's a long time ago, man. Anyway, my point is, you know, it's it's a morally ambiguous thing. And in the end, really, who are you hurting by advertising these things? Well, you know, um, do I owe an apology apology to four, the four or five people who emailed me and, the, and maybe the hundreds, maybe the hundreds of people who were disappointed that I advertised that company? Yeah, I, you know, I don't feel good about it. And I will tell you another thing. I did it, um, not so much out of greed, but out of laziness. You know, it just happened, to, you know, because I've always told myself, don't be greedy. Being greedy is a big mistake. You should never be greedy because that will screw you in the end. If you try being greedy in stock, whatever you're doing, stocks or whatever, you're going to end up getting screwed. I don't know if I was greedy so much as I thought, you know, I, I, I got a big YouTube channel I put a lot of work into, and I find someone's offering me a lot of money just to mention their product for 30 seconds for four videos, you know. Why not make some money? Um, and maybe I should have thought about it a little bit more. Uh, hopefully, those of you who uh, who 
those who watch me will forgive me for this uh, lapse in judgment. But, um, I, you know, I don't know what to say about it. I feel bad about it a little bit, but the BBC article made me uh, think a little bit more about it because I didn't realize other people were advertising it in that way. Like, I didn't know this company was getting that rep of, oh, you can get someone to write your papers so you can do drugs and... and and play video games, which is what the BBC article mentioned. And I, you know, as I told you, I don't think that I, I didn't advertise it that way. I will say, I will say this: just going back to the to my father and having uh, me proofread his papers. Uh, you know, I think it's a, it's good if you write a paper and you want it you want it uh, polished up. It's great. Why not? You know, why not have someone polish it up? I mean, we do that with our friends, right? Hey, can you proofread my paper? I mean, it's the same thing, except this time you're paying someone to do it. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you're a, if you're an international student and your English is not your first language, I think there's nothing wrong with you writing a paper and then sending it, sending it to them for proofreading it to fix the grammar points and, and spelling things like that. I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, yeah, and I and and the other thing is if you're creative, you can find other ways to use this company to create content. For example, if you're building a blog, why not contact them and have them do it, right? Anyway. That's uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, you know, the other thing about selling out is I saw a U2 article years ago. Years, I'm talking like 30 years ago or something. U2 said, you know, are you gonna pay my bills? No, then shut the, shut the fuck up about selling out. <laughs> so yeah, in, a, in an ideal world, I wouldn't have ever uh, adver need to advertise those companies. But I will tell you another thing that was really interesting to me. And that was that it helped me think about what does well on my channel because I was forced to um, to come up with videos that would get hits, and I was able to do it. So, so that was good, you know. Thanks to that, thanks to that, I learned a little bit more about how to how to make my channel a little bit more success successful. And as a result, I put out a bunch of uh, haircut videos that did really well, and actually. Uh, made me money regardless of the actual uh, incentive I was going, I was getting to advertise that particular product. So, so in the end, it helped me as well, and I will. Um, I have a much more successful channel as a result of that. Now I'm doing much better, uh, just with the AdSense. So, but I would like, you know, I would like to find a company that would uh, that will pay for uh, extra, you know, a shout out or something. But something that may be a little bit more appropriate and a little bit more morally unambiguous. Okay, that's all I got for you today. I'm arriving at my job, so I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you guys soon. And let me know what you think about this, all right? Am I just rationalizing it? Am I, you know, give me shit. Whatever. It's okay. Bye. Look at this dumb kid. He's going to do it again. He's going to go out to where he's scared. He's going to get stuck. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, see you later. <laughs> what happened? I was, I was <laughs>